Shalom, call Halal, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. That were honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akiam and to the Akwaf, of you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson today is going to be entitled, Put the Lord First Over All. Okay? Once again, the title for today's lesson is Put the Lord First, okay, over all. All right? Yahweh, Bahasham. All right? Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham in the name in the Hebrew. Yahweh Shai, his, his, his begotten Son, who is our Lord and Savior. All right? Beginning with the Heavenly Father, through His Son, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right? It would, put, it would behoove you to put the Lord first. Okay, um, over all, okay, and um, we're living in a time where you're going to have to choose a gear, man. The Lord said to repent and turn unto him, okay, Acts 3 and 19, repent ye therefore and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come uh, from the presence of the, of the Lord, all right, let me get that real quick, make sure I read that right. Um, make sure I'm quoting that right. I'll get it. Acts three nineteen, right? It says, um, it says, um, I start at eighteen. It says, but those things which Yahweh, the heavenly Father, before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Mashiach, our Lord, should suffer, had so fulfilled. The Lord came to the earth. The Word was made flesh. All right, He was a sacrificial lamb to give remission of sin to the nation of Israel. All right. So, therefore, we have a great spirit to get it right, to get your house in order, okay? And to put the Lord first over all, okay? It says, verse 19, Repent ye therefore and be converted, right? That your trans, it's like this, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, okay? So, we have a great spirit to get it right. And we have to put the Lord first over all, especially in these times with all, all that is going on in the world. There's nothing left here, man. This is a polluted world. That's why the scripture tell you in Micah 2 and 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. All right? It is polluted, and it will destroy you even with a sword of destruction. We have to de detach from the matrix, man. Uh, the Apostle Paul tell you, Romans chapter 12, and verse 2, all right? And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. All right? We're living in a time where all hell is getting ready to break loose. You got to seek the Lord. You need a hedge of protection. All right? The scriptures tell you how the angel of the Lord encamp around about those that fear him and delivereth them. Okay? For, for all the transgression and, and, and iniquity in the earth. All right? The scriptures tell you how... Uh, 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 how, the, uh, how the, uh, the, the, the evil is exceedingly wicked in these times, man. All right, when you go to the uh, 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 when you go to Second Ezra, the the fifteen chapter. All right, the Lord says He's going to bring judgments for those things. Now, if you look in for the Lord's mercy, remember mercy and wrath come from the Lord, right? So you got to be doing the things that's pleasing in His sight, okay? But you got to put Him first. You got to put the Lord first, man. So with all that's going on in this world, right? It will behoove you to seek the Lord and turn to Him. What's this? What does the Scripture say? Um, right here. This is. Um, then I start get the, the Scriptures what I had in mind through the Spirit. I was led to these Scriptures, right? But let's get a uh, real quick Isaiah chapter fifty-five and verse six. All right. It says, "Seek ye the Lord while He may be found. Call ye upon Him while He is near." This is what you got to do. All right? 
It says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. The Lord will abundantly pardon, man. You got to repent, turn back to the Lord. The Lord say, all right, he will not keep his anger forever. Only acknowledge that you transgress against him. That's Jeremiah the third chapter. Okay? But the point is to put the Lord first over all, man. That's what you got to do. It starts there. Knowing your power. All right, now let's get it in the book of, um, let's go to it. These are the precepts that I had in mind. This is Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So you got to seek the kingdom first, man. You got to seek the Lord. Right? Because the kingdom is what the Lord is going to bring to fruition, man. Seek the Lord. Let me read it again. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Right? See, you got to keep your eyes on the prize, man. When you jump up to the 22nd verse, it says, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, right, meaning you're keeping your eye on the prize, salvation. And that's going to happen by you turning to the Lord with a whole heart, putting them first overall. All right, it says, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. So you got you to gotta keep focus, man, so you can stay the course and pray the Lord keep the spirit on you to endure unto the end because that's what the prophecies say he that endure unto the end the same shall be saved alright scriptures tell you how uh, 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 no soldier alright it, 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 uh, it cares for the, uh, the, the affairs of this life man okay you gotta be a soldier in this thing let me see if I can grab that real quick um uh Let me see if I can get that real quick. Okay. Uh, this is 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 3. It says, Therefore, it says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And if any man also strive for, for, for masteries, he, yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully. So within, within all of this, you gotta, you gotta strive lawfully. The scripture said the NTE and at the straight gate, man. Okay? Because the scriptures tell you how, all right, he that tried to come up some other way, the same as a robber and a thief. The only way into the kingdom is through the straight gate, man. You gotta strive lawfully in doing so. Okay? But you got to put the Lord above all, man. Okay, the scripture speaks about those that, all right, if you don't bear your cross and, and follow after Hamashiach, okay, um, the one that goes into, um, let me see if I can get it. The father, uh, mother, more than me, is not worthy of me. Bear with me. See if I can find that scripture real quick. Let me see if I can find that. All right, there you go. This is uh, Matthew chapter 10 and verse uh, 37. It says, and this is red light. It's our Lord speaking. It says, he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Okay? And he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Okay? So, it doesn't mean that you don't love your parents or your mother or your children. Okay? Because certainly you do love them. The point is, the Lord is above all them. Okay? You, 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 you to worship the Lord, man. 
Okay? You see? You 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 have to uh uh you have to take up your cross and follow after the Lord, man. You see? It says, verse 39, He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. So if you try to chase after the bag, trying to find your life in this world, you're going to lose it because the scriptures tell you, all right, they that are rich, right, have, re have, have received their, 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 what's the word that's used there? I think it's Matthew 26, uh, Matthew 6. I'll get it after I finish this breaking out this precept. Matthew 10 and verse 39. He that findeth his life shall lose it. So you're chasing after the bag. You're trying to do everything in this world to try to get acclimated into society. At the end of the day, the scriptures say, labor not to be rich. We, we came here for our punishment, man, to serve out our punishment for transgressing against the Lord. All right? So the fact that you're trying to make pacts with the devil, okay, you're going to lose it, man. You're going to lose your life. Okay? It says, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it right. Like I quoted, Mach, uh, I quoted uh, 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 Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Okay? It is polluted and it will destroy you even with the sword of destruction. You have to know that this ain't our kingdom, man. All right? This is not our rest, man. There remain a place of rest. This is the kingdom. You got to look forward to the kingdom. The kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is going to be set up on earth forever. As it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. You see? But, um, yeah, uh, that precept, I think it's uh, Luke chapter 6 and verse 24, where it speaks about, yeah, but woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Right, that's the word I was trying to remember, your consolation, which is you, you have gotten your prize of comfort, man, right, right, in this society. You, you don't want to wait for the kingdom. You, you want, you want, you want now, you with a microwave lifestyle, you want it now. You want it now. You don't want to wait for your Yahweh Shah. You want it now. You see? But the scriptures tell you how to, to set your affection on things that are above, man. Okay? We got to put the Lord above all. Okay? Set your affections on the things that are above, that are in the heavens. Who's in the heavens? Yahweh. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh. Wah. Yahweh Shai. Heavenly Father and His Son, man. And the angels. The host of heaven. The holy host. Okay? Um. Uh, scripture is going. To, okay, Colossians. That's Colossians. Your affections, man. Set your affections on the things. All right. Um. This is Colossians chapter three and verse one. It says, "If ye then be risen with Mashiach, seek those things which are above, where Mashiach sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh. Set your affection on things above." Not on things on the earth, for ye are dead. Right, to this life we are dead, man. We don't care what's going on in this world other than getting our daily bread. We ain't laboring to be rich in this world, okay? The scriptures say, uh, King Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived, which, which was Yahweh Shai, if you could receive it, he said that, uh, 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 give me money, give me uh, uh, poverty, need of, uh, give me riches, need of poverty, man. All right, feed me with food that is convenient for me. And when you go to the when you go to the Adawan Palau, which is the Lord's Prayer, Adawan Palau, all right, it says it speaks about your daily bread. That's what we're supposed to get in this in this place where we brought our, our, our place of captivity, our daily bread. That's all you need, man. You see, because we suffer for uh, for Yahweh Shai's sake, man. Okay, the scripture said, "Arm yourself like wise with the same mind." I think that's First Peter, the fourth chapter. It says, arm yourself like mine, because our Lord Yahweh Shai suffered, man. And the scriptures tell you how the servant is no, 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 it's not greater than his Lord, it's than his master. It says, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Okay, it says, uh, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Mashiach in Yahweh. It says, when Mashiach, who is our life, shall appear. Then shall ye also appear with him in glory, right? Because it speaks, the scripture speaks about being joint heirs. When you read Romans the eighth chapter, okay, you're gonna, you're gonna be joint heirs, man. The Lord said it in Revelation the second chapter that He's gonna share it. He's gonna share His kingdom with His brethren. All right. So, 
set your affection on the things that are, 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 are above, man. Not, not the things that are on earth, man. Seek the Lord. Repent. Turn unto him. Put the Lord first over all, man. All right? Let's get one more. We can close it out. Let's go to the book of uh, Matthew. You know, milk scripture, but very profitable. The book of Matthew. Uh, what's that? Sixth chapter. Matthew 6, 19. Right. It says, uh, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also right. So at the end of the day, it's all about storing up spiritual shackles, man, by doing the things that's pleasing in the sight of the Lord, walking in the spirit, staying in the spirit, okay, uh, uh, keeping the faith. The scriptures, the scriptures tell you the just shall live by faith. Uh, giving diligence to make your call and election sure. All right, giving alms, uh, uh, showing that brotherly love and that charity. Okay, uh, 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 being about your brothers, because uh, we are our brother's keeper, man. All right. So, at the end of the day, put the Lord first, above all, and and, and set your affection on the things that are above, man. Store up your treasures in heaven. I'm going to end it there, Lord willing, you are edified, you are edified giving an honor, all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, that were honest to the elders and the apostles of great millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. With that, until the next time, shalom.